if you look at the, the even Jay Z's career, you can look at that and say the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16, but well, yeah, 16, 17 Grammys. See, the, the kids even have Grammys. Like they don't they don't sing yet. They don't sing. Right. <laughs> they don't rap yet. <laughs> and they already have Grammys and shit. Jay got all the trophies, man. That's because he signed that contract. What contract? The one with Beyonce. I was like, man, I'm telling you, man, y'all better, y'all better, y'all got a chance right now. Just flood it, put out a lot of music mm -hmm. because 50 Cent is coming. Mm -hmm. Will we ever get enough of 50 Cent facing the big wigs in the music industry? I honestly doubt it. Well, apparently 50 Cent believes Jay-Z's Grammy wins are in large part due to his marriage to Beyonce. The G-Unit mogul discussed the matter in a new interview for the cover story of XXL's 20th anniversary issue. According to Fifth, Hav didn't start amassing Grammy awards until he and Bay began dating in the early 2000s. But to be quite honest, the power producer is somewhat right. Even in Jay-Z's career, you can look at that and say the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16-17 Grammys since he's been with Beyonce, 50 explained. And you go prior to that, he had one. That came with the association. Holy Grail! Jay-Z featuring Justin Timberlake! A quick deep dive into Jay's Grammy wins proves 50's argument checks out. After winning Best Rap Album for his 1998 LP Volume 2, Hard Knock Life, Hav didn't win another Grammy Award until 2004, when he and Bay won Best R&B Song for their collaborative hit Crazy in Love. Since then, Jay has earned an additional 22 Grammy Awards. Get that again? A whopping 22. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, thank all the producers and dream for writing a song, Justin, and all the, uh, you know, typical things. The Indie Club hitmaker continued his analogy, saying, you see, Jay and Beyonce's kids already have Grammys. They don't sing yet. They don't sing. They don't rap yet. And they already have Grammys and Satie. So they say, give them this trophy so we can secure that they're coming to the awards show. Give, this, give them this trophy so, so we secure that they're coming. It meant that much to the culture. They just gave them the things. He added, implying the Carter family's accolades are not entirely genuine. Fifth continued by blasting the Grammys for shutting him out of the 2004 award show, which saw him earn five nominations on the strength of his record-breaking 2003 debut, Get Rich or Die Tryin'. To me, I didn't care about the trophies. I said, I'll get the checks. Later, people look at it and they honor those things. He said, it didn't matter to me in that time period. I was like, F it. Don't give me the trophy. So what? They didn't give me Best New Artist and I sold 13 million records. That's the largest debuting hip hop album. Explaining how the music industry is not necessarily about talent, but who you know, the G-Unit founder said the same concept with the Super Bowl. See, they don't understand the relationship. They were trying to get Eminem to do the Super Bowl without me. It wasn't happening, Fifth said of his appearance at 2022's Super Bowl halftime show. Go, go, go. If you remember the controversy, Jay needed a little bit of convincing for him to allow 50 Cent to perform alongside Eminem. The white guy called for, for 50 Cent. Mm. So I said, who's, who's the white guy? According to media personality Nor, Eminem told Jay-Z he wasn't going to perform at the 2022 Super Bowl halftime show if he couldn't bring 50 Cent Nor confirmed the story on his Drink Champs podcast while hosting rapper and hip-hop icon Snoop Dogg. During the interview, Snoop, who had just acquired Death Row Records, talked about the colossal Super Bowl LVI halftime show featuring Dr. Dre, Snoop, Eminem, 50 Cent, Mary J. Blige, and Kendrick Lamar. The Queen's native asked the dog father why Dr. Dre's former Aftermath Records artist The Game wasn't invited to perform, and Snoop simply said that it was Dr. Dre's show and he only had 12 minutes to fill. This prompted Noor to reveal something that Jay-Z, who is the NFL's live music entertainment strategist, told him about Eminem's requirement to perform at the prestigious football event. I said to Jay-Z, I have to ask this straight up, who is going to perform at the NFL? And he said to me, and I'm sorry for everybody who doesn't understand, and he said, the white guy called for 50 cent, he recalled. I said, who is the white guy, Jimmy Iovine? And he said, no, Eminem called directly for 50, and he said, I can't do it if I can't bring 50 with me. That's spiritual, Nora concluded. Snoop Dogg agreed and responded, of course, that's his guy, and guess who's Dre's guy? It's me. 
Noor and the whole podcast crew erupted with hand claps for the loyalty that M and Snoop had for 50 and Dre, respectively, while responding to claims of Jay not wanting him anywhere close to the Super Bowl stage. Fifth also furiously stated that the blueprint hitmaker purposely left him out of the Super Bowl advert. Their beef is real, guys. 50 remains convinced that the Rock Nation leader purposely wanted him left out of the commercial promoting the 2022 halftime show. The rapper sat down with radio personality Big Boy months later, where he dished on the performance and explained his continued quarrel with Hav. I was in the ad right. because of... Uh, look, Jay-Z and them was putting it together. I wasn't in the ad because of Jay-Z and them was putting it together, 50 Cent explained, and I think they still harbor some energy towards me. When Big Boy asked if 50 believes he was purposely left out of the Super Bowl ad, 50 claimed that he was initially told that the NFL had issues with him that 50 remains clueless about. I, I think they still harbor some energy towards me. You think you were purposely left out of the ad? I don't know what those issues are, he said. The rapper wasn't done. He explained how Drink Champs host Noor confided and told him about Eminem petitioning to have 50 Cent included in the show. That's when 50 decided to liken Jay-Z to a gay painter. We're talking about Basquiat. He wants to look like a gay painter. 50 told a clearly taken aback big boy, the rapper ended by saying he believes the NFL claims were really a call by Jay-Z to keep him out of the halftime show ad. When asked if he and Jay-Z have spoken about the disagreement, 50 Cent said there was nothing for them to discuss. It's not the first time 50 Cent has referred to Jay-Z as a gay painter. He shared the same sentiments a year earlier when Nora first revealed his private conversation with Hova. Nora, your big homie is running around trying to look like a gay painter, LOL, 50 wrote in a since-deleted Instagram post. So clearly, the two have always had their issues, and this latest rant by Uncle doesn't come as a surprise. In fact, in his latest interview calling out Jay and Bay, Fifth confessed that he didn't care about the trophies, as he was more concerned about the checks, adding, because what I was saying was the content was raw enough and who I am, my experience is a little bit abrasive to conservatives. He added, I haven't experienced much that Jay probably hasn't experienced. What I will say is, he has a, he's internal, he's a quiet person, so you don't see that, you don't feel the energy that goes on in that environment. However, overall, Fifth revealed he understood the reasoning, alleging that they don't want kids to be 50 cent. This certainly isn't the first time 50 Cent has dragged Queen B into his longtime rivalry with her legendary husband. In fact, last summer during an interview with The Breakfast Club, 50 recalled Queen Bey once stepping on him in Vegas while he was greeting Hav because she assumed he was confronting her then-boyfriend. 50 claimed Beyonce jumped down from a window ledge and was ready to fight him, admitting the encounter caught him completely by surprise. It's unclear when the incident took place exactly, she was on like a windowsill. We were in Vegas, he recalled. She jumped out. She was like, he explains while pulling a confrontational face. And I'm like, wait, what are you doing? That's me and Jay-Z's stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with you, girl. She jumped off the ledge. I was like, oh, I didn't really know what to do. It was one of those situations where you were like, whoa. If you say this to Jay, he'll look at you and go, nah, that happened. The rapper explained. It, me, I'm talking to Jay. You're talking, talking to Jay. As soon as I talked to Jay, she jumped down, came over. I said, oh, shit, look at this. They about to jump you. Nah, she came like she was ready. She's like ready. It, it, something was going to happen. <laughs> he continued. She came like she was ready, like something was going to happen. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's throwing me off now because I don't know exactly how to respond to this. You are still Beyonce. She brought all of the sexy over with that energy jumping off. And he didn't leave it at that further explaining i look at jay and he go nah he'll tell you i said yo all right whatever because really i'm just saying what's up but she's feeling my energy come over because we do say things about each other it's competitive nature that's it despite their very many confrontational episodes the two legendary rappers had briefly put their beef stemming from a power struggle in the early 2000s to bed but fifth's latest claims may reignite their long-running rivalry Several fans have reacted to 50's claims, with one tweeting, 50 Cent says Jay-Z won most of his Grammy Awards because he married Beyonce. While others supported his notion, some opposed it, with one Jay-Z supporting tweeting, these rappers are jealous of Jay-Z, I see. Why is 50 Cent always ranting about Jay-Z, as if they themselves are innocent? A small thing, it's because of Beyonce. Who stopped you from marrying Rihanna or Adele? In your opinion, do you think 50 Cent is right about Jay-Z's success being partly down to marrying Beyonce? Let us know in the comment section below. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.